What's going on, guys? It's Paul here. Hey, I want to take a few minutes. Anything that positive or good that helps me out, I want to share with you all because um, it's going to help you, you know, because it helped me. So, anybody who, uh, you know, my board of people that I've, you know, these are my tests. These are people I've worked with over the years. And that's not even all of them. People that we've had a chance to impact our lives, right? One of the things I've used here, it's been a, a major impact for me personally, okay? 37 years old, having elbow issues, left elbow. Honestly, thinking I'm going to have to go get surgery. I'm desperate. I go out in the living room, middle of the night, get on my knees and ask God, please, Lord, lead me to something That'll help me because I don't want to get surgery. I come across literally that morning. This guy here, Pete Pedigoscu. And uh, I've been using this approach for, well, since that time. Okay. With the people and the clients that I've worked with and the lives that, that I have been able to impact and change, there have been so many stories. I've had multiple people who were facing surgery. People that were, um, one lady seeing two doctors, Alicia, um, calls it a miracle, but what God was able to do through this gym. It's a shame that COVID came along and has ran all those people in fear, hiding, and I guarantee most of y'all are in pain. Guarantee it. Almost, I guarantee it. You're all dealing with some kind of pain in your body. And you're just learning to deal with it. Right? Just popping a pain pill. Just trying to manage it the best you can. Right? Well, the wisdom that God has obviously granted me with the, the, the ability to incorporate the weight training in with the Agoscu therapy, the one-two punch approach that I took over the years, I mean, I was slammed with clients. I mean, it was a five days a week, six people a day training routine, even to the point where I remember having a personal trainer asking me to help train him, teach him, a guy around my age that we worked with years ago, to where I even created my own personal training certification program, and we put different trainers that I had working for me through that program. So again, COVID comes along. It's a shame what's happened. People are still scared. And uh, fear is a terrible thing, right? And uh, it's taken away your quality of life. Okay? I'm going to put this on my God's Final Call channel. Probably share it to the, the, the Facebook page, which has been changed from the Shield of Faith Fitness Gym. I've changed it to the God's Final Call name. Because I have another video I'm going to do here from the gym here soon. I want to explain some things with what God is doing here and what this is about. Okay. We'll talk. We'll do that here soon. And I'll put that. I'll release that. But I want to share with you something that's just recently. And it's so amazing. Because, again, back to 37. So I, I start doing the Agoscu therapy type of stretches and exercises and along with incorporating my weight training one of the things I learned during that time I remember taking six months off one time I don't know why I did it maybe four months something like that I just took off one time I worked out for years and years biggest mistake I ever made in my life coming back was so hard but I stayed the course and now I'm like by the grace of God no matter what pain is going on my body I got to go figuring it out you know, what therapeutic stretches and exercises that I've gained all this knowledge the years can I incorporate and add to my what I'm doing with the weight training and to watch my body respond and the pain go away? No medication, no pain pill, just making the proper adjustments, okay? So we do that at 37 years old. Folks, I'm not kidding you. Two to three days later, the pain in my elbow gone. I haven't had it since. I'm 46. So as of recently, I started developing some issues with my neck. 
and going on, slowly building up for, for a while, I could start noticing things. Stress, tension, tension, stress. Obviously, we all got plenty of that, right? And now it's starting to affect my quality of life. I'm getting, I'm starting to get to where literally I started having thoughts subconsciously, man, is this, a, is this gonna be a surgery related thing? Like what's going on with my neck? I can't seem to shake this off. The good Lord has me do a little research. And the first thing, video it pops up, I go right into the Agoscu therapy stuff. Follow the routine. Adding in some th things that I'm familiar with because I've done them before, but adding in some new things. They're probably, the, obviously, the wisdom and knowledge has only continued to increase. I'd imagine the man, the man is, I truly believe, I was thinking Lord, to the Lord earlier, I believe everybody has a gift and purpose in this life. And what God taught this man to share with many others is his gift. So I go to yesterday doing the series of, it takes probably 10 minutes at home. And right away I'm like, whoa. I feel something. Instantly my body is telling me it's it's fighting against it, but yet it's 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 adjusting. Something you walk away with when I'm done thinking, man, I like how this feels. I do it again and last night. Folks, I'm hundred percent pain free today. hundred percent. Thinking I'm gonna need surgery. Can I still work out? I'm here in the gym right now tonight doing my workout. I'm training. Thank God for his many gifts and his many blessings. That's what makes, it's always made this gym shine brighter than any gym that you've ever seen. Because the hand of God is on this man's life. And many people have scared and run away from, they don't want to hear the truth of the gospel. You got a soul that's more important than this body. Because eventually we're all going to, time runs out for all of us. Nobody lives forever on this earth. But God, Jesus said, I not only do I want you to have eternal life, the redemption of your soul, but you'd have a more abundant life, that you could live an abundant life while on this earth. So God has given me these gifts, and it's sad to see because fear, my gift is sitting here dormant. And there's all these people's lives that we've touched and many others, and you wonder where they're at now. I guarantee a lot of them are in pain. Or hopefully a lot of them, the things I taught them, they're still doing them, and they're trying to get the best out of their current situation. So if you're in pain, reach out to me. This is what I do. We'll pray with you if we have to, but God has given me enough wisdom how to incorporate the Sagoski therapy, the right ones that will work for you, with the weight training, and I always call it, I've always called it, it's a, it's a one-two punch. It's a, it's a grand slam. It takes it farther beyond what even what he's doing. It takes it to another level. And over and over and over, people who think they have to get surgery don't have to. Guy over here, Heath, you know, his story, thinking he's going to have to get surgery. And, you know, it's been a while since I've seen Heath, but last time I saw him, he and he's riding his bicycle. He's just nonstop, go, 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 go pain gone, you know, so again, I just had to share my testimony, I got to share, you know, we, we ask God for healing, and we, we want miracles, we want God to do things and touch, our, and touch us, right, and sometimes the miracle is, is just simply you, you taking the very temple he gave you in the body and working with it and doing the things that you need to do, and that's what this gym's about. Now, the next video I do on this gym you're going to see what also what this gym's about. And going forward, the, the stance, the people, people know who joined this gym. You know when you've joined my gym, it's called the Shield of Faith Fitness Gym. So that probably tells you, a man believes in God. It's a faith-based gym. So when I started preaching the gospel in 20, why was it such a surprise to you? This is the Shield of Faith Fitness Gym. This is a place where God's presence rules and reigns and the supernatural God works in more ways than one through my life. But people who work with me know personal trainer Paul, and then there's preacher Paul. There's two different things going on here. So, all right, guys. Just want to again share that. I'm so happy. I'll go home tonight and do them again. And uh, it's amazing how I feel tonight.
I'm thinking I may need surgery too. Pain free. <sighs> to all glory be to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you.